it is simpler than you could have imagined. Welcome to Nedu Mr. Channel. I am Rabanjo Isaiah. Let's quickly discuss step by step approach to this. Here I have in my hand a material of width two and a half inch and length 54, which is more than required. It's my first time doing it, so I just cut excess length. Now I'm folding it into half. Now I want to mark out a width of 0.625 for the thickness of my stripe. That is half inch and one line is equal to 0.625 inch. You can make yours 0.5 inch. You can make yours one inch. It depends on how bold you want your stripe to be. Like we normally do to put a straight line we connect the marked dot so I'm going to stitch on this line now it, it is stitched let's cut this same allowance into a very small size now we are going to press open the seam with our iron. This is to produce a very fine stripe. Let's stitch the stripe at one of the hands for turning him. While turning the stripe in, it is important you take note of the opened seam, not to close. Do not let the opened seam close. With the same position at the center, let's press our stripe. From this point, please, let's pay a closer look. The twist is very, very simple. I'm using this white cloth to protect the stripe from being damaged by the iron. You must have noticed that on one side of the stripe, I do use this cloth, while on the other side, which is the back of it, I don't use it. 
just ensure a firm twist. You can also use these to make it lay flat. This is how you are going to continue twisting it for as long as you want. Here is the material that I want to lay the twist on it is of width two inch and you will notice the straight line at the center you can make yours as wide as you want the press iron has already done us a lot of favor so making the stripe straight again for proper stitching won't do you any harm or make you suffer any loss of energy expelled so far So it is important to use your finger to adjust things backward for the stitch to properly pass through the center so it may seem to the eyes like nothing was stitched so it may seem like it was gum to the material.
Remember also the straight line on the material. It is there as guide for you to have a very straight twist on your plaquettes. Look at what the progress is like so far. I could have trimmed out this part, but I didn't for the sake of our learning. Here, yeah, it happens that what I twist with the iron is less than requirement for the length of the placket. So, whenever this happens, it doesn't mean you have to remove the placket and go and use iron again. No, you can twist it without iron. Please hit the subscribe button if this video had a value to you so far. Consider also the like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know where I need to improve to bring a better content to you guys. Also help me share this video. Let it reach a larger audience. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support so far. Thank you very much for always being there.